Here are eight of the most wicked women to ever exist. Mary I of England Mary I of England, also famously known as Bloody Mary, took the lives of a lot of Protestants when she was attempting to restore Catholicism to England during her reign. The heresy law that she instated is actually responsible for the burning of nearly over 300 Protestants who had been accused of being heretics. She was never prosecuted for any of her offenses. However, after her passing her re-establishment of Catholicism had been reversed. Aileen Warnos Aileen Warnos was a highway escort who was considered to be America's very first female serial executioner. She had brutally shot and robbed almost seven men in Florida during the late 80s and the relatively early 90s. She claimed that the offenses were committed in self-defense. However, Warnos was soon found guilty of taking the lives of all six men and placed on judicial execution. In 2002 she had been executed via lethal injection, and almost a year later, her story had been depicted in the Academy Award-winning movie, Monster. Myra Hindley Myra Hindley was considered to be the most evil woman in British history. Along with her partner Ian Brady, she somehow carried out the Moors assassinations in the 1960s. Together, they kidnapped, violated and took the lives of five children and teenagers. When they were caught, Hindley showed absolutely no remorse for her offenses and pleaded not guilty. For almost 20 years, she maintained her innocence. However, back in 1987, she finally admitted that she had been involved in all the offenses. In 2002 she passed away in prison. Carla Homolka Carla Homolka is Canada's most notoriously female serial executioner. She had helped her husband Paul Bernardo violate at least three women, one of them being her own younger sister. She received a surprisingly light sentence for her offenses thanks to the plea deal that she managed to strike with the prosecution. For her testimony against her husband, Hamolka received a reduced prison sentences only 12 years. The prosecution didn't feel badly about this deal at first. Hamolka claimed that Bernardo had been harming her and that she was forced to participate in the offenses. However, video evidence later surfaced proving that Hamolka wasn't a victim but an active participant in all of it. Rosemary West Rosemary West was extremely notorious in Britain for her offenses. She, along with her husband Fred, violated and dismembered a number of young women and even buried them in their cellar. One of these women was their own daughter, Heather. Since being charged, West has maintained her innocence. However, the jury saw everything differently. In 1995 she had been convicted of harming almost 10 women and was sentenced to life imprisonment without any parole. Elizabeth Bottori The Guinness World Records reportedly considers Countess Elizabeth Bottori to be the most prolific female serial executioner. She was accused of violating, mutilating and taking the lives of around 650 women somewhere between 1585 and 1610. Even though there was quite a bit of substantial evidence against the Hungarian countess, she never actually faced trial because of her family's influence. Legend has it that Batori also had vampire-like tendencies. She reportedly bathed in the blood of her victims in an effort retain her youth. Catherine Knight, born on October 24, 1955 and still serving a lifelong sentence in prison, Catherine Mary Knight was the first ever Australian woman to be sentenced to life imprisonment without any parole as he had a history of harm in relationships. She had mashed the dentures of an ex-husband and slashed the throat of another husband's eight-week-old puppy right before his eyes. Irma Grease Irma Grease was a guard at concentration camps Auschwitz, Ravensbrück, as well was Bergen Belsen. Transferred to Auschwitz back in 1943, Greece was then promoted to senior supervisor, the second highest ranking female in the camp by the end of that year. In charge of nearly 30,000 Jewish female prisoners, she absolutely reveled at her work. 
Her work included the savaging of all the prisoners by her trained and half-starved dogs, arbitrary shootings, absolutely sadistic beatings, with a plated whip, as well as selecting prisoners for the gas chamber. She somehow enjoyed both physical and emotional torture and habitually wore extremely heavy boots while carrying a pistol to facilitate both. Don't forget to click the subscribed button, and also click the notification bell for more updates for my new videos. Thank you, so much, for watching.